Hey guys, double wide six, and I'm in the middle of doing a little ultrasonic cleaning with a carburetor. And I wanted to show you guys a couple quick tips that I use that I think will be real helpful for you. So this first one's a real simple one, but I think it's pretty helpful. A lot of times I buy the, the cheaper parts cleaner, brake cleaner. I usually get this rather than carb cleaner just because it's not as strong. It does not work as well. But uh, I always try and get the non-chlorinated version like this. And that's just because I'm trying to live longer. Now, here's the tip. This stuff's cheaper. I usually buy like a 12-pack of it. And the reason it's cheaper is because it comes with this uh, really crappy nozzle. And if you drop the can, this little white stem will break off here, and it's pretty much shot. You can drill a hole in it and soak a carburetor in it, but you're not going to be spraying it. So here's the tip. You get your cheap parts cleaner, and you pop the top off. And this is from a WD-40 bottle. These are great. I don't know why they don't make these on every spray can you buy. But this will sit right on these. You just want to be careful that you line it up. And that will lock right on there. And uh, works great for carb cleaner. And I've used this thing over 40 or 50 times. The next little tip I see on a lot of small engine channels. I don't know if uh, Musty One is the one to credit for inventing this trick, but uh, that's the first place that I saw it. This is really hot. Let me get this out of here and we'll go over this little tip. Problem with this carburetor is a leaky needle and seat, and I'm going to show you two things here. Now, as I said, I don't know if Musty was the first one to do this on YouTube, but I see a lot of guys doing it. And we're going to just spray a little parts cleaner in there. And <clears throat> I have a Q-tip, and I took away some of the cotton. So we'll spray that. That's good. And we're just going to lightly work this in here. And what that's going to end up doing is uh, polishing up that brass. So we'll let this go. We want to be real gentle. Now, if you have one that's in really bad shape, you could use a little valve grinding compound and that'll kind of hone it in just like it seats a valve. This carburetor, you can see the remains of some rust. It was really wet and dirty. This usually gets a lot dirtier doesn't look too bad. It even looks nice and shiny in there. I don't know how well you guys can see it. And this carburetor still needs some cleaning. I'm just trying to show you a tip here. And the other issue that you have, a lot of times the needle ends up getting like a ring around it. And I don't know how well you could see this, but this needle has a ring around it. And I'm going to show you how to fix this rather than uh, buying a new needle. So be careful, sometimes they have springs on and that's the case with this one. So we'll work this out of here and you gotta hold on to the spring so it doesn't fly away. I'm gonna actually remove the spring so I don't lose it. Set that right there. And we'll show you how to re-hone this. I think you can see that ring there. So the first thing you're going to need is 1,000 grit wet sandpaper. I guess it, didn't, it doesn't have to be wet. And what I'm putting on there is a little oil. And we're going to take our needle and we're going to carefully just chuck it up in the drill, just like that. Alright. And we're going to take the tip of this needle, make sure I have you in here, and we're just going to carefully run it against this oil. And what that's going to do is take out that ridge, and it, it completely like rehomes that tip and gets it looking good. 
And that's all it takes. I'm going to clean this up and we'll show it to you. I'm going to cover the tip a little bit because you don't really want to get this parts cleaner on that. The other reason sometimes they leak is you get debris on the needle. In this case, you can see it's rusted, but that, that tip looks perfect, absolutely perfect. And if you have that ridge going around there because it sat in the closed position like that, uh, a lot of times it will leak gas out your carburetor. Well guys, I hope this helped you out. Uh, these are just little tips that I use. Um, and you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not the inventor of using a Q-tip to clean out the uh, seat, but I haven't seen anyone hone off the needles like that, so uh, I thought that would be helpful. And I haven't seen anyone um, show you how to do this with your cheaper uh, spray cans. So I'll put a, a link down below where I get some of these supplies. And if you click on that, that would help support my channel. And you can check that out. So thanks for watching, guys. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.